Rule number one, always know it is time to go home. Summer camp was free lunch in the park, then back home. Trip to Manhattan, then back home. No matter where you were, if those street lights came on and you was not home, there was a problem. If mama had to look for you, if community got involved, a problem. And solutions never came easy. We still have not solved what happened to little Tasha. And mama used to say, be aware of emergency vehicles, police cars, sirens, screams, cries, tears, all emergency vehicles. Be aware of how far away they are. How fast that far closed closer. How close that closed far was too late there tardy. Always made us the most almost riots. Always made them the most almost panicked. Always answered their cavalier with middle finger and curse words spoken in throne bottle dialect. Always raged into flames as if our bodies were built from the kiss of match and gas can. Cause we have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. Carmela Stevenson was alive when them sirens came. Dead when negligence dropped her from gurney the sidewalk and mama used to say, distraction will get you killed. Pay attention to your environment. Pay attention to your environment. You too have instincts for a reason. Use them, use them like childhood streetlights. They will always tell you when it is time to go home. If you think you know how your poem's gonna end, then you're not gonna have a poem because the poem's gonna wanna do something else and you're gonna be stuck going one way. I don't carry the notebooks. What I do is I, I'll, I'll throw a line down, I'll type it up, and I'll walk. So, I walk through whole Brooklyn. I walk from bed to Flatbush. I walk back to the bridge. And uh, that's the thing of living in New York City, right? I can say these poems out loud by myself at night and nobody thinks you're crazy. The things that I say in my poems are things that I absolutely have to say. I know that there are kids who grew up like I grew up from where I'm from and they aren't always aware that their voice matters. I think it matters. It matters to me, hopefully it'll matter to somebody else, but there's a lot of system designed to try and silence me anyway. There's no point of me surrendering my voice. That's, why would I do that? Surrender your voice, we fought too hard to have one. My name is Jive Poetic. This is my brief but spectacular take on things I have to say. Mm -hmm.